I'm going to share with you expert advice from the team here at APS on cam cleats and accessories that help them operate easily and efficiently. So before we get into the accessories, let's think about a new application and the placement of the cam cleat on the boat. Um, is it accessible? Think about the worst weather sailing conditions you're going to be in. Is it safe where it is? Does it need to be located back in the cockpit? So think that through. Secondly is the line lead angle. So with cam cleats, uh, they operate so easily, but once you've got it in there, if you've got a positive angle here and it's under high load and the boat's going through the waves, what can happen is it can just pull right out, up and out of the cam. So what you're looking for is a lead angle that is on the same plane or a negative lead angle. And that pressure just wants to keep it down in the teeth of the cam. In some applications, it's just not possible to get, the uh, get it such that the line is coming into the cleat at anything but a negative angle. When that happens, you need to address that by either rocking the cleat backwards or raising the cleat up to the same or higher plane. So in rocking it back, this is a wedge. It's about 12 degrees back from Harkin. Um, I can insert that and just rock the cleat back, and I've got a negative angle here. Um, with Ronstan, they have the same type of plate. These are 11 degrees. Uh, Ronstan's different um, in that you can stack these because they lock together. So I'm now to 22 degrees and I'm now to 33 degrees and I can really rock this back to change the angle dramatically. Or I can counter pose these so that I create a slight uh, flat riser and then introduce just a little bit of back angle. So I've gotten the cleat up high off the deck. I'm not dragging my knuckles as much and I'm addressing the angle need. Um, if I just wanna raise uh, the Harkin cleat, they make a flat riser, it's quite tall. Now this one's interesting. This is the opposite. It actually is rocking the cleat forward. So if you can imagine in the cockpit that this cleat's up on the seat and you've got a line coming from the cockpit sole at a very negative angle, um, you can adjust the cleat forward and raise it that makes it easier to adjust. So you're not dragging your uh, knuckles and you don't have quite a, as a negative uh, angle uh, and it's easier to cleat and uncleat that way. Ronstan has a riser um, and it serves dual purposes. Um, it's a straight riser, it's flat, or you can use it as a spar adapter and that's why it's got this curved surface. So I can mount this to the side of the mast and, uh, or to the underside of the boom for an outhaul. So dual purpose, and I can also, if I wanted to, I can put one of these plates on first and rock the cleat back or forward 11 degrees. Um, when it comes to mounting a spar to, um, or a cleat to the spar, this is Harkin's aluminum adapter plate. And again, both of these are gonna be attached to spars or booms by drilling, tapping, and using machine screws. Moving into line dedication, that is to say, Generally speaking, a cam cleat will have a dedicated line, a single line that it's used with. So we want to keep the line associated with that cleat so that you can find it easily. It doesn't tangle. Um, the more basic is just an eye strap from both Ronstan and Harkin, the classic solution. Uh, with this, you can pull up from any direction as you're pulling the line in, and then obviously it's just straight down into the cam. Now these stand very proud. They can catch other lines and on clothing. So Harkin also offers this low profile. As long as the line diameter isn't too thick, i.e. it clears the, the eye strap and the top of the cam, um, this does a little bit less catching. You can pull up and then down when you're ready to cleat. Um, these molded fair leads are uh, less proud. They uh, shed lines and clothing so they don't catch on things. Um, they have a wire it runs on the underside of them to keep from wearing away the, uh, the molded piece here. So with these, again, you can pull up with um, light to medium uh, pressure. And then when you're ready, just cleat them on down. Same with the Ron stand here. And with the Harkin, they offer different colors so you can code, color code your cams. Um, if you want nothing over the top and you just want it nice and clean, you just want to keep the line associated, um, these wire um, leads that uh, are on a plate go underneath the cam. These are meant solely to keep the line uh, associated with the cleat. They're not really meant for pulling up under any uh, type of load, and they're certainly not meant to redirect a loaded line straight into the cam when it's not been led fairly. 
So I've got these cleats facing me, the user, aft, where the cam's open. I've turned these around so you can see the back side of these for another solution. Say you need to cleat and uncleat uh, a line from different angles in the boat. Well, these are going to allow you to do that. So if you've opted with one of these, they do keep the line captive, so you don't need any of these solutions necessarily. So starting with the Ronstan, we have this fiber reinforced uh, molded cage. And this, again, allows you to cleat. So if this is running free, I can up to a 90 degree just pull down, and it's going to cleat or uncleat from any direction. For higher loaded lines, they have this molded piece with this stainless cage here. And again, for uh, remote cleating and uncleating. Um, Harkins really cranked it up with these very robust solid stainless bars with the molded cage. Um, in this case, again, you can cleat from up to 90 degrees or uncleat. Now this one stands pretty proud, so they've come up with this more recently. It's a little lower profile, so it sheds lines. Um, and it uh, allows lines to, um, to kind of zing out because there's less structure between this and the cleat here. So if you've got something like a spinnaker halyard or a tack line that needs to zing out, again, you can cleat it from any angle, um, but you can pull it up here and there's very little material between the line and it can just zing on out. Okay, I've got two really interesting uh, cam cleat pieces. This is from Allen. And um, it is a through deck cam mount. Now they have two sizes. This is for the medium and they have one for small cams. And what it allows you to do is mount this right on the deck and lead the line through the deck all at the same time, nice and cleanly. Uh, this can also be used on booms that have a flat under profile. So if you wanted a really smooth way um, to adjust your outhaul, you could mount this on the underside of the boom. Um, lastly, from Servo, now this is cool. It's an under deck mounted cam cleat for remote cleating and uncleating. Um, so if you can imagine, you've got a control line running through uh, under deck, and this is mounted maybe under the combing, and so the deck ends right here. What you can do, because it has these stainless rollers right here, is you can cleat and uncleat from up to 90 degrees and the deck on top is just clear of hardware. Well, for this and more information, visit us at APSLTD.com.